gentlemen, you are beyond wrestling. Never say never. Maybe event is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Introducing first in the corner to my right from Danger Town, USA. Weighing in at 202 pounds, he is the best thing in wrestling, the alternative, Anthony Green. His opponent to my left from Worcester, Massachusetts. Yeah. Weighing in tonight at 270 pounds. Welcome to the Die Jack High Jack. And feast your eyes on Donovan Die Jack. A lot of history, a lot of personal friendship between these two. That goes a long way, has spanned a lot of miles up and down the road, not only in New England, but throughout the Northeast, throughout the country, quite frankly. So coming here tonight to see Donovan Dijak and Anthony Green, this isn't just about who is the better man. This isn't just about who is the better wrestler. This runs much deeper. And don't forget, Two Tribes Festival, at the Palladium, Donovan Dijak going up against Alec Price. And he stated that he didn't like the actions of Anthony Green in what occurred post-match between Green and Aaron Rourke. Dijak feeling as though he needs to teach AG a lesson of sorts and plans to do so in the middle of this squared circle. And as I mentioned, this isn't just about who is the better wrestler, but it is about that as well, because you heard Anthony Green just say there, or maybe you could read lips, but he said, I've always been better than you. I've always been better than you. And for somebody who has been in the shadow of Donovan Dijak, because remember, they came up at the same time. They came up from the same place. And over the years, it's always been Dijak's the guy. Dijak's the guy. It has always been Donovan Dijak is the future. He's the next guy. And Anthony Green had to hear that. He not only had to hear that, but he had to hear it from his peers. He had to hear it from promoters. He had to hear it from fans all the time. So now, he doesn't just have a chance to win here tonight. He has a chance to tell every single person who had ever said that to him over the years, you were all wrong. Getting that opportunity here and taking exception to Dijak, overpowering him. He gives him about 70 pounds to Don for Dijak. And demanding that Dijak says that he, Anthony Green, is better than him, Donovan Dijak. And, and, and Dijak isn't feeding into that emotion right here. Anthony Green is pure emotion in that ring right now, and Dijak is trying to hold back because, as you know, a lot of times emotion can be great, but it can also be your downfall in that ring, especially against somebody who knows you so well. If they can just tap in to that anger, force you to make a mistake that is where everything can change and that is how anthony green can tell everybody whoever doubted him that no i've been the better guy all along anthony green now trying to use his technical acumen to get through the overwhelming strength of donovan dijak and when a man that size and of that strength and of that stature manages to get a headlock in it is very difficult to get that hold released and like I said, Dijak knows Anthony Green so well. Anthony Green knows him so well. So AG knows exactly what it takes and more importantly, what it does not take to try to get ahead of Donovan Dijak. And he knows that the strength game isn't going to be his strong suit here. So even though Dijak is taking control on the mat, he's using strength to do so. Green in that waist lock. Trying to maintain it despite Donovan's attempts. Shoots to the leg in an orth unorthodox fashion. Back into the headlock by Anthony Green. Waist lock, low on the ground. Donovan Dijak once again at a vertical base. And you're seeing that size difference here, but O'Connor roll. 
Shoulders down. Look at that right there, taking advantage of the situation. And that is how you find out who is better. It's those small little moments like that. As AG continues to try to tap into that emotion of Donovan Dijak. Here's a chop in the corner. Dijak having none of it. And that is how knowing your opponent can work to your advantage. He knew AG would take the bait on that. It's also the benefits of staying calm. Dijak doing all the right things here. Big splash. Huge. And Anthony Green could do nothing but look on as Dijak took to the air, dropped all of that body weight on top of him. And AG has to now not only Think about all those people who doubted him in the past, but now he has to work against his own mind because even though coming into a match, you can tell yourself over and over, I'm the better man. Once that opponent starts picking at you over and over, that's when the self-doubt starts to come. Another big shot. Green in a bad way in that corner. And ever since that splash, you're not really seeing too much activity from AG. Uh, may have spoken too soon. Elbows to the side of the head of Dijak. AG now trying to muscle him up, and that's just not trying to take advantage of a situation. That's also a small way to say, okay, you might have more strength than me, but it doesn't mean I can't show you I have some too. Front face lock. Dijak might be thinking suplex. Go behind. Standing switch here off the ropes. Gets caught in midair. And AG trying to wriggle his way free. But the only freedom is going to come if Dijak decides to throw him. Oh, he just throws him right out of the ring! He threw him up directly onto the cement floor from inside of the ring. And I was going to say the only freedom is going to be which part of the ring he throws him on. No, he chose to throw him out of the ring. He almost gave him freedom from life. He's going to fly! Takes to the air, sticks the landing. And Anthony Green, you would think is the one who would try to take to the air, have the advantage there. But Dijak saying to him, not only, wait, hold on. Green he got caught. He got caught. No. And maybe AG's only way of figuring out how he is the better man is to take a shortcut like that. And Anthony Green running on pure emotion and that emotion coming out right there as he lets everyone know I'm the best thing in wrestling. But all, the only thing right now I see is a man who needs time to breathe after what he went through. This emotional display coming all the way from the Two Tribes Festival from Beyond Wrestling, but as you mentioned before, it, it, it goes beyond that, no pun intended. Years and years of being told that you're just not as good, that Dijak's the guy. Oh gosh! He is busted wide open. And if Anthony Green needed an advantage, if he needed a way to pick up a victory and weaken Donovan Dijak, he did it in a big way right there. And the thing is, your head gets driven into the corner of that post. Those posts are sharp. Blunt force trauma directly to that section of your head. You're gonna get busted open every single time. I don't think, from this angle, we couldn't see what part of the post Dijak hit. Now we have the answer. He must have hit the corner of that post. As he is screaming in the face of Donovan Dijak, the bloody face of Dijak. As he not only wants to beat Dijak, he not only wants to prove everyone who ever said that Dijak was the better of the two wrong, he wants to hear Dijak say it himself. At this point, AG has become feral, it's visceral in his screams, hollering to the bloody Dijak. 
going all the way back to the days when they first started going up and down the road together, just trying to get on shows together, just trying to make a few dollars, ply their trade. Anthony Green was the one, and you know how it is. They call it the, air, the airport check. If, if you walk into a building, people look at wrestlers sometimes, and they may not know they're wrestlers, but they say, that's somebody. And Anthony Green had to watch that with, with Donovan Dijak walking by his side when they went to rest stops, when they went to airports, when they, wherever they went, Anthony Green had to hear that over and over. Man, this guy is something. And then, oh, this must be his friend. This must be his manager. Like, you know, having to hear that over and over, now he has a chance to change all that here in this matchup. And it's a shame because he's already such an accomplished professional wrestler. But these things just stick with you the same way AG just stuck that form into the neck of Dijak. Goodness. And it just took a totally different twist because not only can Anthony Green take it out of him with a victory, he can take it out in blood as he is doing here in this main event. Dijak needs to find a way to craft some space and get rolling into some type of offense. The longer he just stays in that ring and bleeds, the less life he's gonna have in this contest. His chances of victory are gonna become more and more limited as every second ticks away. Huge clothesline by Dijak. And with whatever semblance of consciousness he has left, he was able to give himself a little bit more by hitting that lariat on Anthony Green. And now AG, dying to prove that he was the better man all along, is still pushing forward. Dijak still trying to gather himself. Anthony Green's the one that reached the vertical base first. Oh goodness, what a punch to the mouth on a farm to reply. Trading heavy blows despite the length of this contest thus far. Swings that meaty elbow, and again. Goes through that clothesline. It's one of his own, sending Anthony Green down, and Dijak is back in this one. 270 pounds in there, eight feet in the air, coming straight down onto the throat of Anthony Green. And Dijak might believe he's the better man but he was never trying to put his friend down. He was never trying to make his friend feel any sort of pain about it, but that has changed here in this main event. Dijak shocks AG, and now there's the emotion that AG was seeking at the beginning of the contest. I hope you enjoy it. As Anthony Green up. Death Valley driver right on the neck. But AG getting the shoulder up just barely. And Dijak has to be painfully aware of the need to be quick, the need for brevity, as he continues to bleed out of his forehead. What's this monster thinking? Gonna springboard. Hits the elbow drop, hooks the leg. But he did not have the left shoulder of Anthony Green protected in that pinfall attempt giving AG the opportunity just barely to get out into. A man of that size going for a springboard, executing that elbow with this kind of loss of water and sweat and blood. I can't blame him for not being able to execute the cover in the way he most likely would have liked to draw it up. And now Dijak trying to hold back those emotions in the early going of the contest, now letting it rip here because Anthony Green drew it out of him not only with emotion, but with blood as well, drawing everything out here in this very personal, very emotional contest. Another big heavy shot, AG fortunate to not have fallen over to the floor after such a blast. Dijak going to that second rope. Dijak. Realizing exactly how high he is. Gonna go for that superplex. Struggling to try to get Anthony Green up in the air. As AG slugging it out. Gonna try that power bomb from this position. Dijak hanging on. There's another right hand. And biting that wrist. 
in a desperate act from a desperate man. Desperate to prove everybody, including Dijak, wrong and that he has been the better man all along. Folded the man like Lodger and drilled him! But Dijak gets the shoulder up. AG still on the run, that's the veteran acumen. Knows he has to stay on the large man. Where's he go? Oh my gosh! No, Dijak muscles through. Valley driver into the corner. Shifted the entire rig a full inch. Donovan Dijak, he's a madman. Anthony Green has been desperate to show not only Dijak, but everybody that he has been the better man all along. But the only desperation in the heart and soul of Dijak is to show Anthony Green we're still friends, but I am truly the better man and have been all along. Which way is it gonna go here in our main event tonight? Dijak looked like he might need an IV to continue this contest. As Dijak has been dripping, pouring blood for quite some time here in this contest. The sweat has diluted the blood. That's how much this man has sweat and tried and struggled since getting busted open earlier in this contest at the corner of the post. Back to their feet. Throwing huge home run shots here. Big shot again, Green. Donovan replying. AG still not forgetting all of those days, all of those nights, all of those minutes, those seconds where people said Dijak is the man from this area. He is the one as he to claw back all that time and show everybody that he is the best thing in wrestling. Gozel! Pass him by the neck. Holds him up. Sits out with the choke slam. But AG gets the shoulder up. Same error as before, wasn't able to secure that left arm staying down, trying to maintain that shoulder being pasted to the mat. Green saw the opportunity and shot that shoulder straight off of the mat. Donovan Dijak getting up to a vertical base. He's looking to go once again. That's Dijak. Has him by the throat, puts him on that top rope. And he is looking to let go all of that emotion, but AG rolls through. Out at two, there's a jawbreaker. Follows it up by dropping Dijak on his neck. And AG is looking to go one step further to put this one out. Big shot and a miss, lift! Oh Whoa. boy. Oh goodness! Right on that apron. I can't even dictate which, which part of the body got the worst of that, but AG back to the sky! Hits the moon song, hooks the leg, no! Unbelievable digging into the well a lot deeper than I thought he would to pull that trick from under his sleeve, but still not enough to win and to prove to everybody that he is the better man. 202 pounds of AG flying through the sky on that moonsault. Most of that weight going into the collarbone of Donovan Dijak. From that second, gonna try that cutter, no. Dijak has him, pure muscle. Gets him up. Oh! Oh, goodness gracious, the kicks. Super kick on the money. But so was that boot. Right into the cover, this could be it. AG is still hanging on here at Never Say Never. Fet music in Providence beyond wrestling is home. And this has been the home of these two competitors at many times over the years. But it's not about home. 
It's about who is the better man. There were no errors in coverage there. Full weight applied to the shoulders. Anthony Green just having the will to continue in this contest. As Dijak sees it down, AG perhaps feeling that he needs to take it to another level if he wants to beat his best friend. Dijak checking the airspace. AG trying to roll out of the way. As he rolls. Hey, no. Green's safe now. Rolled far away enough to, oh no! He is not safe. But AG is as he gets the shoulder up at two and hangs on. AG rolling away, thinking he had enough distance, enough separation to avoid any aerial attack Donovan could consider. As Donovan Dijak going to the apron, he's not done quite yet. He knows just how dangerous he needs to be if he wants to put away AG. Big shot directly to the already bleeding nose of Donovan Dijak. Oh boy. Head first on that top turnbuckle. Dijak not done. Starting the match with no emotion. Now fueled on pure emotion as AG still trying to prove that he was the better man. Wow! Goodness great! Die Jack gets the shoulder up at two. These two men take to the air and land hard with the cutter. As Anthony Green hearing those voices in his head from over the years who said Die Jack is the man. Die Jack is the man. He's the one. He's up next. But Anthony Green wants to show that that was never the truth. Green doing everything in his power, doing everything his body would allow him to do and more. Violently assaulting Dijak, trying to wrap this up. Dijak to his feet. Thinking so much prettier. He's gonna go for it. Dijak sense the danger. Gonna try feast your eyes. Get it ready for the feast, he got him over. No. no. AG picks him up. It's, what is he going for here? Drops him right on his neck. Whoa, Dijak just barely staying alive here. Both gentlemen running on fumes in this point of the contest. That back suplex lands Dijak right at the base of the neck. You are not gonna feel anything on your fingertips for a time. Headache ensues. He's already been bleeding for at least 20 minutes. This is a bad situation for Donovan Dijak thus far. As Anthony Green continues to prove something that he has felt in his, his own heart, his own mind over the years, he has a chance to prove it in front of everybody. And slapping the taste out the mouth of Dijak has him perched up on the top rope. What could Green be thinking here? Well, whatever he's thinking, he wants to hear Dijak say the words, you are the better man. But Dijak not quite ready to say anything. The strength of that club from the top rope and Dijak he just, he just told people on the floor to move? What are they thinking? They need to go further than that. These are two relatively lucky human beings in terms of height. What are they thinking? Good Lord. Green fireman's carry position. Don't know what kind of dastardly deed he's considering achieving here. Dijak now. Guzel. Has him by the throat. The cement floor looms behind them. The mat in front. What in the hell is he thinking here? Is he not high enough? Oh no! Oh no! From the heavens! 
But AG gets out at two. What does it take to beat this man? What did Donovan die yet do that he has not utilized already? He is gonna try to get him up there, perhaps for Feast Your Up. Ah! Official Bill Thompson! Oh, oh. come on! AG! Stooping to that level to try to prove oh. that he has been the better man. So much prettier. But Dijak says, not quite yet. AG with the best shot he can take, but Dijak survives. Anthony Green would have been the only one to believe that he was the better man if it ended like that. But it didn't end like that. It didn't end at all. Dijak still going in. Now he wants the microphone. For what purpose? Dijak. Give it up. You know it. I know it. The Lord knows it. I am better than you. I've always been better than you, Tyson. I got signed by the WWE younger than you. I went to Japan before you. Tokyo Dome before you. Championships before you. And now, get up, get up, get up, get up. Now, I'm giving you the chance in front of everybody here on IWTV. Tell the world Anthony Green is better than Donovan Dajak. Not better than me. Yeah. And one day, you will be. You know what I want? I want you to say it. Tonight I'm going to prove it. I am better than Donovan Dijak. Dijak saying you're not better than me. Oh, oh goodness gracious. AG reverses it into the corner. Damn. He's done, it's over, he's dead, what, no! He's so, gonna put him away. So much, no! No! What? You just decapitated him, how are you moving? How are you? Feast your eyes! He didn't have to say the words. He just had to show it. Feast your eyes. It's not just a saying, it's an action. Donovan Dijak pulls the victory over the incensed Anthony Green. Great match, Dijak. I've said it before, and I'll say it a million fucking times until the day I die. Anthony Green is one of the best wrestlers on the entire planet. Nobody has put the time in, the effort in, 
all the dedication, all the hard work, all the sacrifice, I see all of it on it. Day in, day out. Reaching out to the camera. You're gonna hold on, I know. I know it's me. Churning and churning and churning. It never stops you. What? Aaron Rohr coming in to make the save. Anthony Green was about to crack die jack when he didn't even know. Well, Aaron Rohr making the save here. Dijak trying to give flowers to AG. AG responding with violence. And Aaron Rorick saving Dijak in that moment. AG, if you can still hear me. I know you're going through a difficult time. And you want to keep taking cheap shots. And keep trying to assert yourself. I know what that feels like. Quite frankly, I respect your dedication, but you need to get your fucking head out of your ass. Thank you guys. This was a tremendous night. It's great to be back. That music is a good place that's really going on the fucking map. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here all the way. Blood and blood and sweat, tears, all of it. Thank you so much. This is my home forever. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you for joining us for Never Say Never. For Brother Greatness, this is Paul Crockett saying goodnight and thank you.